Those of you who missed my late night stream from Vancouver International Airport, I apologize for the technical difficulties because the internet was not working good. But the reason I went to the airport is, beside from picking somebody up, I did have to get this direct from Mexico, my Don Julio 70, which is very, very difficult to get in Canada. We don't typically sell this in our liquor stores. So I got this direct from Cancun while I watched the mass exodus of Asian nationals heading back home. It's uh, very surreal to see this at the airport, but there is good news of what's going on, and let's talk about it. Today, I am still coming to you from my self-quarantine location here in southwestern British Columbia, and today is nothing but the best and good news for you folks, because nobody's talking so much about the great, great news of what's happening around the world, but we got a lot of it, so let's get started. First of all, the most obvious, probably don't even need to mention it, but gasoline prices are dropping fast. That's good if you gotta travel. That's good for the uh, RV Nomad people. So, a little bit of a silver lining. But on a bigger, bigger good news story, your community is gonna emerge through this much better because the Mexican drug cartels are having a horrible time with their distribution and importation networks, which means less of the cocaines are going to be hitting your street. If you've got a husband, a sister, a daughter, a mother, God forbid, who is addicted to the cocaines and the cocaine derivative products, there's going to be a whole lot less of it <laughs> out there. And of course, the market to support it is diminishing as people's disposable income slowly collapses. All good news. Keep those cocaines. And as for the domestically produced drugs like the methamphetamines, the distribution supply line for the actual ingredients is getting more difficult. I think it's all good news less crap in your community which trickles down to all those pimps and hoes that hang around the bad neighborhoods their market to sell their vice is diminishing it's all diminishing which is a positive for you and the people who live in those communities now I hope uh, law enforcement don't try to steal the credit for all this because no you got to get the credit due to who it is due to, and that is the COVID-19. The COVID-19 is like this powerful miracle worker that's doing good and bad. <laughs> that's the thing about uh, death and destruction. You know, as you guys know, I go to Hawaii a fair bit, and uh, volcanoes destroy, but they also bring life, which is a metaphor for what's going on. So what kind of positive thing do you think is happening because of the virus? Now another wonderful thing that we're going to be seeing, and we're seeing it right now, is that the e-begging RV nomad community is slowly going to be hurting to the point that they're going to have to get a J-O-B. Ad revenues are down. They are collapsing. If you rely on that, and if you rely on the kindness of others for your living, you're going to have some serious problems because people want to feed their own family before they want to feed you. So that is a good thing. I think uh, a little bit of struggle for the e-baggers in the RV Nomad community will be good for them because it will help them build some character and some backbone. And perhaps their allergy to work will go away naturally because I think a natural solution is always better than a forced solution. Pretty hard to take a stick to somebody that doesn't want to have to work, but if you give them no alternative, trust me, they work. <laughs> so what kind of positive things do you think are happening in your world 
with this new virus outbreak because I'm sure there's a few wonderful wonderful things that I've never even thought of that are happening somewhere in the world so post your comments below I'll talk to you soon over and out